All right, guys, we have seven watches in on this load. This is from my buddy Scott, who's in my private Discord. So let's dig into it right away. Let me move a couple of these larger boxes out of the way. We're going to need the room. And then let's just dig into, let's start with this Orient. There we go. Looks like we have a day date. This is a little bit larger case on this one. So kind of a dressy looking watch, but it's a larger case. Well, guys with larger wrists need dress watches too, so this one's going to work for them. Let's put that back there. Here's the part number if you're interested in it. FET, whatever, blah, 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 all that stuff. And then let's... Oh, this is a fun... Fun offset Seiko here, chronograph. Pretty wild. It's bi-directional. I don't think I've videoed this one. So I'll have to check that one in. I've never heard of this. Barkers of Kensington. Hmm. Never heard of it. Let's check it out. This is going to be on the uber affordable side, I'm guessing, just by the quick look at it. I don't know anything about it, other than you can see the escapement on the top side there. I mean, it's a good looking watch, but it is definitely on the, on the uh, affordable end of the spectrum. So, speaking of that, let's check out a Timex. Now, Timex can be tricky because they do have some... I don't want to say more expensive, but for a Timex, it could be more expensive. Okay, this is the Timex Q and the Pepsi variant. So again, still really affordable. It's the quartz colorway here. So there's that guy. Keeping it affordable, here's a steel dive. Let's open up this guy, if I can. I just clipped my fingernails, so it's hard to get probably would have destroyed them anyway. Okay, so this is like a, a Willard styled watch, but in the steel dive, I'm not sure what steel dive calls it. Lots of play on the bezel on this one. Pretty terrible. And we're in between a date change. That's going to drive me nuts. So let's fly past that. There we go. I know these are super affordable. It comes with another strap here. Is this a, oh yeah, that's a flexi, a flexible one. All right, let's check out this boulder. Okay, this is a titanium one, comes with an extra strap. Nice looking titanium watch. And it is an automatic, and it has a 24-hour register there, too. There's a, quite a few different of these uh, Boulder Ventures, so I have not handled that one either. Okay, and then last up, it looks like we have a Seiko to round out the 7-watch split here. So this is a Patty variant, and this is the SBDC055. Beautiful blue dial on this one. It has a blue bezel for this one as well. And a blue strap. And then he included a bracelet too. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's an aftermarket one. Probably a strap code or something. But uh, nice blue dial on the Patty. So some pretty super affordable watches here. Even that Patty Seiko is actually probably on the very affordable spectrum for sure. So these will be... Uh, up for grabs before you know it. I don't know which ones I'll do videos on, honestly. Um, possibly none. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.